what happens sometimes is we just read the words, we read the script and we forget to connect with the meaning of those words. Like we're not connecting right. our heart, we're just thinking it through. We're making sure we say all the words like we're learning to read. Like at school, yeah, yeah. we were more concerned about r- learning to read the words than to actually... Feeling the meaning. Connecting with the words, yeah. Feeling the meaning, correct. And, and, and going, what's this word really mean? How do I connect with it? So one of the best ways to communicate is to involve the head, the heart and the hand. The head is just the words. I need to understand what this word is and say it properly in English, particularly if English is your second language. But then the heart is how do these words feel? Like if I said it's a beautiful day today, I'm I'm stretching out the word beautiful. Now, I don't usually think about that, but if, if I really wanted to emphasize beautiful or I might emphasize the word day, like it's a beautiful day today, mm. you see? So I can stretch out words and emphasize words. I can pause. I can make some words louder or higher pitch. Like it's a beautiful day today. Yesterday, oh my goodness, yesterday it was absolutely dreary. It was cold and cloudy and boring mm. and so small. It wasn't at a big day like today. I feel like the skies opened up. So what I'm doing there, I'm using like a sense of storytelling in a way because I'm imagining a movie in my head as I'm speaking those words. It's like a movie. It's like a mm. song. It's like I'm singing a song. I can't just sing the words. I sing the message. I sing the what I'm trying to create through that. So when I'm speaking, I'm also thinking, what do I want my audience to feel, know, and do? Again, head, heart, hand. So I'm speaking, involving my own head, heart, hand, which is my head is I'm thinking of the words, my heart, how does it feel? What do I want to emphasize? My body, how do I express it with my facial expressions? How do I express it with my voice tone? How do I express it with my body expression? So I'm involving my head, my heart, my hand. And then I'm also asking myself, what do I want my audience to head, heart, hand? What do I want them to know? What do I want them to feel? What do I want them to do? So all of that is going on in any conversation, even if you're delivering information on statistics and just uh, doing an update, whatever it is. We communicate all the time with our head, heart and hand. We give it all we have because then we're living meaningful days in our communication. Otherwise, our work is boring because we're not yes. putting any heart and soul. So the voice is the organ of the soul. The soul must be connected. The soul is in the body, right? It's part of the body. The body is the unconscious mind. The body has to be connected and to the head and the heart informs the head of how to deliver the information. The head checks with the heart on how the body should deliver it. Now, that's really important. You have to, in the beginning, you have to be very active about that. You have to be really deliberate. You may even copy people that are good at this and, and, and look for some modeling. And eventually you will just do it because you know you get more out of it and you're more effective. Okay.